Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sort custom objects by any attribute that you want. So let's go ahead and say that you were working on this social network and you had a bunch of users signed up and they all had like first names, last names, uh, birthdays, maybe a user ID. They also listed their favorite colors and I don't know, like how much money was in their bank account for whatever reason. But anyways, these users had a bunch of different attributes and you were having a tough time figuring out how to make an algorithm or function to sort by each one. So let's say you want to sort by favorite colors or birthdays. You can do that. So check this out. What we're going to do is just like before, we're going to use operator module and we are going to import attribute getter. So not item getter, but attribute getter. So now let me go ahead and make a real quick class. And I think you need two spaces. Pepe. All right. So class user. And let me just make Dunder in it. And we'll say that whenever you make a new user object, uh, we'll say that they need um, a name and user ID. So we'll just say X and Y. All right. So self name equals X and self. I'll just name it uh, user ID equals Y. So whenever we initialize an object, we'll just say like Bucky 10 or whatever. So something like that. All right, looking good. Now, actually, another thing that I want to do, I'll show you guys a cool, it's not really a trick, but Dunder in it, of course, that means whenever you initialize, there's another one called REPR. So this is a string representation of this object. So that means, let's say that you just wanted to print out, let's say that you had um, an instance of this user class that was Bucky. So the info was just the name Bucky and my user ID, which was 10. But then later on in your code, you just said print out Bucky. Well, then Python would be like, um, what exactly do you want me to print out about him? His name or his user ID or his name and his user ID? Or do you want to print out where that object is in memory? I mean, what the heck am I supposed to know what Bucky is, what you want? Well, that's what this is for right here. So what we can do is we can basically just return whatever representation we want to make. And we can make this however we want. So I'll say whenever I just say print out Bucky, then it's going to print out that object's name. And then I'll print out his ID and I'll separate him by like, I don't know, semicolons or whatever. So plus, and again, this user ID, it's actually going to be um, an int. So we need to make sure to convert that to a string. Self user ID. And the name, of course, is already a string. So that's why we don't need to do that. But again, whenever we say print out an instance or a user object, then this is what it's going to give us. So it just save us a little bit of time from formatting everyone later on. All right. So now let me go ahead and make a bunch of users paste that in so you guys don't have to watch me do it all so now i have a list of user objects i have bucky sally tuna brine whose name is tuna that's weird but actually that would be a pretty cool name i'm gonna name my kid tuna all right and they all have user ids nothing special however what we want to do is we pretty much just want to sort all of these users so let's see what order they're sorted in by default. So for user in users, just go ahead and print user. So run that and check it out. And again, it prints it. And maybe if I add a space right there, might be a little bit easier to see. But again, it prints it in the specified order. So by default, let's see what's going on here. Prints out Bucky, Sally, Tuna, Brian, all right. So it prints it out in whatever order we initialize the objects in. However, we want to, you know, make special functions to sort them by name and also their ID. Since whenever like you're looking for a friend, you just don't want to look through all of them randomly, randomly wouldn't be very efficient. So check this out. Let me add that little separator. So they don't got all jumbled together and we'll do this for users. Just name it user still in sorted. And again, what do you want to sort? Users. Nothing new there. But what we're going to do is we just don't want to sort it in the default order. What we want to do 
is we want to sort it by we'll say sort them by name first so get an attribute and in this case we'll just type name and this is how we can specify how to sort so just like before we'll print user and check this out so again what this does is it just doesn't print them out in default order it sorts them by their name and then this is a lot more efficient and again if you want to do it by id then what i just name it user id then we'll just say sort this iterable by this attribute so now we can go ahead and run this and check it out so this is the default this one's sorted by name and this, of course, is sorted by their user ID, 259, 43, 61, and 77. So how awesome is that? Again, a lot easier than you may have been doing it before. But yeah, there you go. In six minutes, you learn not only about representations, but how to sort custom objects. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. So thank you guys for watching. I will smell you next time.